Hi everybody, you are watching tutorials. My name is Alex and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to design this amazing 3D X letter in Adobe Illustrator by using the 3D tools um, in this wonderful vector app. So let's create a new document. Ctrl N, Command N on your Mac to bring up a new document panel. I'm designing on 1920 by 1080 pixels. Click create to bring up this giant canvas and first of all we need to cover it with the grid so control quote command quote to bring up your grid and command shift quote or command uh, command shift quote on your mac to stick to this grid to snap to the grid you can also find these options here under the view menu snap to the grid and show hide grid okay I grab the pen tool okay grab the pen tool and draw the chevron and as you can see, I'm using the grid to make this chevron symmetrical. So I have this arrow uh, icon and first of all, I want to swap fill and stroke. You can use the shortcut shift X or you can use these icons nearby. Then delete the uh, fill, delete the fill because we will be working only with the white stroke. Okay, so far so good. We are ready to apply the 3D effect. So go to the effects 3D, extrude and bevel. Uh, this all gives you extrusion of our letter uh, X on the first part of our letter X. So uh, here we need to provide some custom values in these uh, X, Y, Z fields. And first fill is uh, X and we need to set it to negative 170. Then to the Y and we need to set it to negative 45 and finally our last uh, value is uh, z value that we need to set on 170 okay so take a look what we got we got this wonderful design and we are ready to increase the extrusion depth you can find it here so i want to type it to around 210 points check preview no it's too much i think 200 will be just enough for us. Uh, click OK to apply these changes and uh, make a duplicate by dragging with the Alt Option key. And for this duplicate, we need to change the parameters of our angles, right? So in order to do this, we need to again bring up the extrude and bevel command. And the best way how you can do this by using the appearance panel. So first bring up your appearance panel by going to the windows appearance. I use shift F6 and then click on this extrude and bevel command and uh, head over to this first field and type negative 5 here. Then change the direction here by just getting rid from the minus sign and then type negative 5 in the z value as well click ok to approve these changes uh, so far so good we need to bring it on the bottom of our layer stack so it will be behind our original file in order to do this i want to create a new layer put this uh, design on the new layer and then nudge it down on my layer stack just like this now i want to arrange a little bit uh, both of them so they can kind of corresponds as you can see guys the light is coming from this direction it will be important for us to note that the light is here so let me put some circle some yellow circle here now that we have uh, this letter x we can uh, apply the stripes and in order to do this we need to select the original file ctrl c ctrl f to make it duplicate now i'm working with duplicate and change the color of this duplicate by double click on the stroke to bring up the color picker and then head over to the color picker value this hexadecimal value and type 383838 3, 3, click ok to change your color and then head over to the extrude and bevel again so head over to the appearance panel double click on the extrude and bevel here we need to change the extrude depth and for purpose of this tutorial it will be 60 but your extrude, and de extrude depth will depend on the size that you got initially if you follow in a lot it will be 60 okay click ok and finally let's select this and design these horizontal stripes in order to do this uh, copy this duplicate make a duplicate then head over again to the color picker and for this one i'm working with the triple four i click ok again it gives you this dark gray and head over to the advanced stroke by clicking on the stroke it will give this um, drop down 
here we need to select the dashed line. And for this dashed line, I need to we need to select around 70, maybe 80. I will work with the 80. Let's check it and see what 80 can give us here. Uh, I think it's it works fine. And finally, we need to delete the grid and draw the shadow because my light is coming up here. You see that my original, this shape on front, is covering the uh, part of the shape on the rear. So grab the pen tool and grab the pen tool and draw the shadow. Adjust it a bit, the width. Then swap fill and stroke because we are going to work with the fill. Put it on the layer below and uh, change it to gradient. If you don't find your gradient, go to the Windows gradient. Use the Ctrl F9 shortcut. Okay, so select the gradient. Make sure that you are applying it to the fill. And then grab the gradient tool and arrange the direction from bottom to top. Okay? And then go to the transparency panel. Again, go to the Windows transparency if you don't find your transparency panel and uh, change the blending mode to multiply. Uh, then arrange the, make it br more broad on something, adjust there, adjust your shadow. And this is how you can create this letter X. If you enjoy it, give it some bob, subscribe to my channel, visit vitorials.net for more graphic design and Adobe Illustrator tutorials. Go to the isometric key if you need some uh, axonometric and isometric inspiration. Uh, for your more productive workflow and finally you can buy this letter X in Vitorials shop. Thank you for watching and enjoy your day.